hi guys this is Rana May and welcome back to my channel today I will be showing you guys a new look of kawaii style and um, this is called the jiraike meiku in Japanese and usually I share a lot of kawaii related contents from Japan and um, Japanese culture related uh, things so um, this is also one of the makeup look that I want to introduce you guys which is super popular now in Japanese um, girls and on social media so um, I will also do share you guys how I did this makeup and the background story like the Japanese dark society you know story so if you're interested keep tuned and further ado let's get so, um, as I said, I am doing this makeup called the Jiraike makeup, which literally means in English land mine makeup, which is um, has a meaning to it because it's it doesn't literally mean landmine and it kind of means like a troublemaker makeup. And the reason why they put name it landmine is because these type of person who does this makeup tend to be fine from the outside look okay but once you get close or like start to go out you know that it's that person is pretty much troublesome and that's why it comes from landmine and i personally think this name isn't too appropriate or it's not appropriate at all because some people get really stressed or can get sad from hearing this word and um I think Japanese people are too like you know light about these topic and they name those stuff really easily like this so I don't want I do not like that kind of cultural traits well um putting that aside so what is jiraike makeup and what kind of girls do does this word represent so basically it means it's a stereotypical view of a girl and um, it kind of means like a weak mental stability so girls who tend to be possessive to the partners and are control freaks and also attention seeker or look at me type of girl and once you for example start to go out um, the person constantly gives contact like calls you where you are what you're doing who you're with blah 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 so pretty much a control control freak and also can get easily hysteric because they're mentally weak and um, also very much emotionally dependent on the partner and for the appearance um, so like the makeup uh, these girls are told to have jiraike meiku are told to be like red around the eyes and a dark black eyeliner and drooping look and also super pale without any cheeks and a red lipstick and also for hairstyle um half up twin so i just tied it right here and then clipped a ribbon on my head and also have sanyo characters so uh these this is this is my melody and um i also have guretama so like these having these character is one of the traits of jiraike girls and for fashion um kind of gothic but still super like cute price fashion like flurly and white and black and also this is like one of the most um epic <laughs> trait but tend to have strong zero alcohol which is a japanese alcohol you can easily buy in convenience store and fairly strong with because it's nine percent and um it's not like it doesn't seem to be really strong because it's nine but i don't know what kind of additives inside here but you can get drunk like in a bad way so <laughs> um, because these girls are usually mentally um you know depressed um they tend to rely on alcohol and that's why i think this strong zero portrait comes from and they drink it with a straw because of the makeup so this is kind of the look um, of Jiraike makeup that I will be uh, doing for today's makeup and um, I hope you kind of got like the grip of the historic and the social backgrounds to this look and how like where it came from so further ado let's get into the makeup tutorial so after the base makeup, I am putting on my contact lens and for this look, I chose a rather large diameter contact lens and then coloring my brows as usual and just coloring it light brown so that I can actually emphasize my eyes more. 
for the eyeshadows, I am using this red purple color and simply uh, coloring in the entire eyelid and it's again important to color in sideways so to create the length to the eyes it's really important to extend it outwards um, and also some colors on my lower eyelids so that I'm kind of circling out my eyes using this eyeshadow and it's also really important to put emphasis on the outer corner of the eyes um, like in the image and this really recreates this dull dolly look and also give length to the eyes so now i am using this light glitter color to color in my tear bags and it's also really important to emphasize the tear bag for this makeup so whenever if you have any glittery shadows please use them as this tear bag um, eyeshadow so now moving on to the eyelining process, I am using this black liquid eyeliner from Uram which is a Japanese brand and um, it's also 100 yen so you can buy it in 100 yen shop. So it's around $1 or so and it was really really easy to draw because it's like a thick pen. and. Um, the important part when you draw this line is to line it downwards so never ever wing it up which is kind of contradicting to the European makeup but just remember to drip it down. So now I'm using this fake eyelashes from Dolly Wink to emphasize the droopness even more so I'm just applying it by following my eye line that I just wrote and make sure it's over the actual eyes so that it, it extends the length of the eyes. And now I'm using this dark brown color and applying it on my lower eyelids. So by putting a straight line in the corner of the eyes, it looks more like an like illusion and creates this droopness. So it kind of emphasizes this triangle look to the eyes. And here, last but not least, I am adding a line to emphasize the tear bag even more. So as I said, tear bags are super important for this makeup, so make sure you create them. And now I am adding some black mascara. Again, I bought it in 100 yen shop in Japan. It was really good and I could also um, take it off really easily with hot water. So um, whenever I want to try black mascara, I will be using this in the future. And for lips, I use this really lead, red um, matte type of lipstick and I actually wanted to use purple but I don't sweat like the purplish makeup so I decided to rather use the orange red color. So depending on your skin um, lightness, please choose the lip color that suits you the most. And now I am adding some nose shadows as usual and please check out my previous video for some detailed um, instruction of how to do the no shadows. So this is all for the Jiraike makeup. I hope you enjoyed it and it's really really different from the European well-known makeup so I think this is very Japanese and also a really cute look. Um, I personally like this look so maybe I will incorporate it to my daily makeup. So now I finished curling my hair, I will move on to the hair arrangements. So today I decided to do a half twin look which is also a very um, obvious trait of Jiraike looks. And it's really easy, just take half of your hair and tie it with elastic in both sides and secure it. And adding some clips or ribbons to finish up the look. Um, I hope you liked it and yeah this is pretty much the final look um, I just curled my hair and also added a ribbon black ribbon and some characters to my outfit and I am done with this look so I hope you enjoyed and if you want to know more about different types of kawaii from Japan don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video Bye.